this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on accounting for branches dependent on data system is being explained by taking one sum. Just observe the sum on the screen which I intend to take care of. Half his brothers has a branch at Surat. Head of his send goods to the branch at an invoice price by, by adding 25% profit on cost price. Branch does cash as well as credit sales. All the expenses of the branch are paid by head office. The head office sends petty cash to the branch for missiles expenses. Cash collected the branch, cash collected by the branch is credited in a bank account of the head office daily. After considering the following information, prepare the branch account, branch profit and trading and profit and loss account in the books of head office for the year ended on 31st of March 2006 and this is the information given to you. 31-3-2015 and 31-3-2016, so all are the opening balances, notice it first of all. So these are the opening balances, here 31-3-2016 furniture, they are the closing balances. Now, this information is given to you, just observe, I am given opening balance of datas, I am also given the closing balance of datas, I am given total sales, I am given cash sales, from total sales, cash sales will be deducted, so credit sales will be available. So opening balance of debtors is given, credit sales is given, closing balance of debtors is also given, what is not given? Cash received from the debtors is not given. So to find out the cash received from the debtors, we are going to prepare debtors account. And whatever the cash is being received from debtors, is remitted by branch directly in the bank account of HO. Opening balance of furniture is given to you. Furniture sent during the year on 1-7-2015, so 9 months depreciation will be calculated because from 1-7-2015 to 31st of 2016, 9 months depreciation. This furniture sent has been used for 9 months, so 9 months depreciation will be calculated. And here, the closing balance of furniture is missing. But calculate depreciation at the rate of 8% of furniture is given. So opening balance of furniture, furniture sand during the year, rate of depreciation is given. But you are not given the closing balance of furniture that we shall work out. And whatever the closing balance of furniture is there at the branch is to be absorbed by head office in its books of accounts. So it will appear in branch account in the closing assets absorbed by head office. Petty cash opening balance, cash sent to the branch. Petty cash closing balance is given to you. So petty expenses incurred during the year are not given. We shall find out the petty cash expenses incurred during the year by preparing petty cash account. Stock is given at an invoice price. Goods sent to the branch is also given at an invoice price. Goods returned by branch is also given at an invoice price. Closing stock is also given at an invoice price. From invoice price, we shall identify the profit element therein and we shall write adjustment entry for the profit element so that branch account discloses opening stock goods and goods return and closing stock at cost. The profit owed is 25 percent on the cost price. So cost is 100, 25 is the profit, invoice price is 125. So 25 upon 125, one fifth of the, is the profit element and four fifth is the cost element. Just observe. Invoice price multiplied by four fifth. Profit is equal to invoice price multiplied by one fifth. 25 upon 125. One fifth is the profit element. Now let me start with the sum. Branch account, petty cash account, debtors account. First of all, I will identify all the four invoice prices. I will identify the profit element therein, therein and cost element. Stock is given at an invoice price. What's the relationship? 100 is the cost and 25 is the profit and invoice price is 125. Opening stock given 1 lakh 5000. As I told to you, 1 fifth is the profit element and 4 fifth is the cost element. Goods and invoice price. 
goods return invoice price, closing stock invoice price. All these are the invoice price. One fifth thereof is the profit element and four fifth is the cost. Let me work it out. If 125 is the invoice price and 25 is the profit, how much for 1 lakh 5,000? 21,000. One fifth. One fifth of 1 lakh 5,000, 21,000 is the profit element. So cost element is 21 fours are 84,000. Similarly, 2 lakh 75,000 is the invoice price. One fifth is the profit element. 125 is to 25, how much for 2 lakh 75,000? So it should be 55,000. So profit element is 55,000. Three, four times of 55,000 is the cost element. 125 is 200, how much for 2 lakh 75,000, 2 lakh 20,000? Or you can find out 2 lakh 75,000 minus 55,000 cost 2 lakh 20,000. 11,000. One fifth thereof is 2200. 125 is to 25 profit, how much for 11,000 if you work out 2200? And cost element is 22, fours are 8,800. So, 125 is to 100, how much for 11,000? 8,800 is the cost. Closing stock, 95,000. 125 is to 25, how much for 95,000? 19,000. 19 for the 76,000 is the cost element. But if you work out by proportion, 125 is the invoice price and 100 is the cost, how much for 95,000? 76,000. This is how cost and profit element in the invoice price is being worked out. Now, let me write down. Opening stock, branch account debit set, at an invoice price. Adjustment entry for 21,000 is to be recorded in the opposite side, A for adjustment. Goods sent to the branch, branch account debit to goods sent to branch account. Profit element is to be recorded in the opposite side by an adjustment entry. So what is the journal entry? Branch account debit to goods sent to branch account, 275,000. Goods sent to the branch account debit, 55,000 to branch account credit, 55,000 is the adjustment entry. Goods return. 11,000, profit element 2200 debited to branch account. What is the entry? Goods returned by branch account debit to branch account credit. And the adjustment entry branch account debit to goods returned to branch account. And at the end of the year, goods returned to the branch is transferred to goods sent to branch account. Closing stock at an invoice price, profit element, closing stock, reserve or closing stock, adjustment entry 19,000. This is how net amount is the cost that is being recorded in this branch account. Now next. So opening balance of debtors. Branch is given the debtors branch account debit to debtors account that will appear as opening balance in the working note of debtors. Furniture given to the branch branch account debit to furniture account. Petty cash opening balance given to the branch branch account debit to petty cash account that will appear in a working note as opening balance in petty cash account. Stock at an invoice price is considered rent outstanding. Rent is an expense outstanding. Liability at the beginning of the year. That should be given to the branch. When the liability is given to the branch, branch is the giver, credit the giver. So branch account is to be credited with outstanding rent. Goods sent to branch is already considered. Furniture sent to branch, branch account debit to furniture account credit. Goods returned by the branch invoice price is already considered cash sales. Whatever the goods are sold for cash by the branch, cash is remitted by branch to HO. So cash sales will be credited to branch account, cash account, debit to branch account. From total sales, cash sales will be deducted. You can find out the credit sales. And credit sales will appear in debtor's account. Credit sale is a transaction between branch and the customer. It won't appear in branch account because it is not a transaction between HO and branch. Now, sales return by debtors, it's a transaction between branch and debtors. So, debtors account is to be credited for sales return. It won't appear in branch account. Discount allowed, same way. Bad debts credited to debtors account, not a, can't appear in branch account because it's not a transaction between HO and branch. Cash directly sent by H, cash directly sent to HO by debtors. So debtors has given cash directly to the HO. Head office has received cash. Why head office has received cash? Because branches sold goods to the debtors. So the amount received from debtors 
is received by HO at the instance of branch, so branch account is to be credited. We have to presume that the branch is giver for this money, so branch account is to be credited. Cash account debit to branch account, direct deposits, direct remittance. And it will also appear in the debtor's account because the amount is recovered against this credit sales. Wages and salary, expenses paid by HO for branch, branch account debit to cash account, same way rent paid. Now look at insurance paid up to 30th June 2016, 4,800, very important point. The amount is paid by HO for branch or branch account debit to cash account, but there is a prepaid insurance element therein. My accounting year ends on 31st of March and the payment is made up to 30th June, so 3 months insurance premium is prepaid. So 12 months amount is 4,800, how about for 3 months? This is a prepaid insurance. This is a prepaid insurance at the end of the year. It's an asset that has to be absorbed by HO. So, prepaid insurance, asset account debit to branch account credit. That's an important adjustment. After that, advertisement expenses paid, branch account debit to cash account. Petty cash sent to branch, branch account debit to cash account. It will appear in petty cash account on the receipt side. Closing balance of data is recorded in branch account because all assets are transferred to HO at the, end of, at the end of the year and that will also appear in closing balance in debtor's account. Stock at an invoice price is done. Petty cash closing balance that will also appear in petty cash account. Outstanding wages and salaries at the end of the year. So all assets and liabilities are absorbed by HO, that of branch. When the assets are absorbed, asset account debit to branch account credit. When the liabilities are taken, branch account debit to liability account credit. So this and outstanding wages will appear on the debit side of branch account. This is how all information are considered. Now, let me work out the depreciation. On opening balance, the depreciation will be worked out for the whole year. So 16,000 into 8% depreciation for the whole year, 1280. And the additional furniture is given on 1-7-2015, so 9 months depreciation will be calculated. So 9 months depreciation, 13,000 into 8% into 9 by 12. So this is the closing balance of furniture that is taken up by HO from branch. So furniture taken, furniture account debit to branch account credit. So this is the closing balance of furniture is recorded. Now... After recording all this, let me find out the closing balance of debtors. Closing balance of debtors is already available. Cash received from debtors is to be found out. So total of debit minus total of credit is known as cash received from debtors. And this cash received from debtors is remitted by branch to HO. So cash account debit to branch account credit. This is the remittance that I have received from branch and this remittance is sent by branch to HO because it's a collection from debtors. Now petty cash expenses, 500. Total of receipts minus closing balance is equal to expenses. Now on the basis of this, I can find out the profit of branch account. So total of credit minus total of debit, we shall get the profit of branch account. 92,640 is the profit of branch account. So from 637,540, all these things are deducted you will get this much of profit. After recording all these transactions in this fashion and finding out the profit by preparing branch account, now we can prepare trading and profit and loss account. You can prepare trading and profit and loss account straight away from the details given in the sum 1 and the additional information or addition in this working note, you have prepared petty cash and debtors account that you have prepared. So you can Keep either the details of sum in front of you and this working note. On the basis of these two information, you can prepare trading and profit and loss account. Or might as well you can prepare trading and profit and loss account as I demonstrated here before you. Because I solve the sum in two parts. In the first part, I will prepare branch account with working notes. I'll find out the profit of branch account. Then I'll start preparing trading and profit and loss account. On the basis of all these details, by that, I'm assured that my profit that I, may get, that I may get by preparing trading and profit and loss account is going to be identical with the branch account. So look at my style. Opening stock to be recorded at cost. 
कॉस्ट इज एटी फोर थाउजेंड डेबिटेड टू ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑफ डेटर्स कैनॉट बी रिकॉर्डेड सो योर ओपनिंग बैलेंस इज आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड इन ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट आई रिमूव इन माई माइंड ऑफ कोर्स आई एम डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग हियर बिफोर यू ऑन द स्क्रीन इन एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन डू एज आई डू हियर बिफोर यू बिकॉज यू विल फाइंड द एंटायर सम विथ ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एट द एंड एट द एंड ऑफ माई एक्सप्लेनेशन बट एट प्रेजेंट जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट Petty cash opening balance cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss accounts. So remove furniture opening balance, furniture sand closing balance. Difference is known as depreciation. That is worked out debited to profit and loss account. And all these three th three things are removed from my mind. Means removed from this location. Just stop, sir. Goods and minus profit element therein. So cost of goods and to like twenty two thousand here there is there. Debited to trading account, goods return is also recorded at cost, deducted from goods end eight thousand eight hundred. So eleven thousand minus two thousand two hundred eight thousand eight hundred goods return deducted. Then wages and salaries fourteen thousand. These are the outstanding wages and salaries. So total expenses during the year for wages and salaries. Is fourteen thousand plus one thousand five hundred. So these are the wages and salaries required to be debited to trading account. Now this rent fifteen thousand two hundred. Outstanding rent twelve hundred is already paid. In this is a part of this fifteen thousand two hundred. This is outstanding at the beginning of the year. The expenses outstanding at the beginning of the year are paid during the year, and the payment during the year is fifteen thousand two hundred. So rent expenses fifteen thousand two hundred minus twelve hundred. Fourteen thousand rent debited to profit and loss account. So insurance four thousand eight hundred minus prepaid twelve hundred. So net insurance expense for the current year is three thousand six hundred debited to profit and loss account. Advertisement expense debited to profit and loss account. Petty cash sent cannot be recorded here. Expenses are to be recorded. Cash sent cannot be recorded. Cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Closing stock is to be recorded at cost that is seventy six thousand. Trading account credit side, cash sales trading account credit side. Collection from debtors cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Both are the collection from debtors. Former was a direct deposit, second was a deposit by the branch. Similarly, closing balance of debtors also cannot be recorded. Petty cash closing balance cannot be recorded. Now look at the things left. Credit sale will go to the. Petty expenses will go to the profit and loss account debit side. Credit sale will go to the credit side of trading account. Sales return deducted therefrom. Net sales appear in the trading account. Discount allowed debited to profit and loss account. Bad debts debited to profit and loss account. Find the gross profit. Transfer it to profit and loss account. Find the net profit. One lakh thirty three thousand three hundred minus fourteen thousand three thousand six hundred. All these things are to be deducted. You will get the net profit to be ninety two thousand six forty, which is exactly same as this one. So profit found out by preparing branch account and profit found out by preparing trading and profit and loss account. This is how it agrees. And even if you prepare, looking at the sum and this working note, then also you will come to the same answer. But look at the style which which, which I follow for the purpose of preparing trading and profit and loss account. So it is same. I have tried to explain you this. Sir. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.